try that again. Let's open the right file this time. That's better. Switch the game screen over. That's better. The doors, it's not running yet. So in this scenario, I haven't set it up yet. People stop typing commands in. Um, in this scenario, you need to drive um, into Carlisle, stop, and then you need to go to Penrith and stop. That's all you've got to do. Uh, let me have a look at the instructions. So you're starting up here, you come down into Carlisle here, and then you come round to Penrith here. Right, that's two stops. I want a clean game. I don't want any trolling. I, w I, w I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I have the faith. I don't really. Um, it's insane. You're all insane, frankly. Um, okay. So I need to turn the bot on and just hand over the controls then. TSL bot TPTS on. <laughs> Very first command is a four, and it's a fourteen L. So the instructions for this one are a bit different for the throttle, um, and it's not going to quite match up to what you see on the screen. So this loco goes from minus one hundred, which is full brakes, to plus fifty, which is full power. Zero is no power. Now when you give it zero, you're going to see something like 33% on the throttle here. So the number you type in isn't going to be what you see. So 33% is actually no throttle on here, which you get to by typing zero. Okay? You're driving it, folks, not me. So it's minus 100 to 50, with 50 being full speed. Speed limit is 125 miles an hour at the moment. Let me uh, freeze the camera. There you go. See you later, Monty. And I'm going to make a cup of tea. Mad Trucking Scania Driver 1, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Your next station is in 8.3 miles. Oh, wipers. Excellent. BNSF, why only 8 miles? It's 8 miles to Carlisle and then I think about another 10 miles to Penrith. Will there be a giveaway? I haven't got anything to give away, I'm afraid, Gav. Now, for anyone who uh, wants to um, troll and um, Um, try stopping the train when you're supposed to be going and start the train when you're supposed to be stopping. Bear in mind the moderators are watching and will be uh, quite free to issue timeouts that they've to people that they see are uh, messing on, messing about with it. Why no more 14L? Well on an American train it's fine to do a 14L, but a 14L on a British train? Come on! NSF, did DC to remove the prize spot thing? No, but I just need to get it sorted out since, um, because I now take donations and so forth, I just need to get it all. It's, it's, it's different. It's difficult. But don't worry. It'll be back. Should we time out people who do the horn? No, Stephen, don't time out. Unless the same person does it over and over and over and over again. <laughs> An odd horn every now and again isn't going to kill us. Five miles to go. Now, timeouts, I think, primarily are for people who obstruct the scenario rather than people who do annoying stuff. 
if they just turn the wipers on and off or blow the horn then we just shout at them um, but if they actively try and st uh, prevent the scenario from being completed then they're the people we jump up and down on don't make me jump up and down on you you don't want me jumping up and down seriously you don't want me jumping up and down on you there's my spoon gun <laughs> ouch I just knocked that camera <sighs> spoon on the floor Ludicrously. <laughs> Has anyone seen that um, video? <coughs> Me Wassel! Hero of the AWS. Watch your speed folks, 100 limit coming up. In fact, by the time you get this message, the 100 limit will already be there. Just making myself a cup of tea. What's happening with the train? Is anyone slowing down for the 100 limit? 55 limit coming up after that, so uh, and a 20 limit after that. You're coming into Carlisle, folks. 1.9 miles to go. It's time to get the speed dropped. Otherwise, it's going to get real when you get to Carlisle. Got the 55 limit coming up, folks. You need to get slowed down for that 55. If in doubt, minus 100. <laughs> oh, we're almost going to make it down to the 55 in time. Almost. 20 is your now tar new target. 20 miles per hour is your new target. David suggested making the speedometer bigger. David, Dave, has suggested making the speedometer bigger. So there you go. Nice big speedometer. Right, we're coming into Carlisle Citadel now. Coast in, guys. Coast in. There's no timings. Just coast your way. Oh, 100%. No. Dear, we're speeding up now. That's possibly the wrong thing to do. <clears throat> you should probably think about stopping now. We got doors open. Nice one, guys. That's let's have a look outside. See how look at this. Look at this. You know, given given that you're all on a uh, quite an extensive delay, that's not a bad stop. Actually, I'm quite pleased with that. Hey there, Shadow Wolf. Remember, folks, you need the reverse of forwards before the throttle gets applied. Time to go. There you go. Brakes coming off. JJ Cell, this hurts your brain. <laughs> Thank you. 
You now have 17 miles. 20 limit at the moment. Be careful of your 20 limit. It is going to speed up. Have a bit of patience. Put the wipers on. Blow some horn. You know how it is. 20 limit, folks. 20 limit. Oh dear, we blew 20 minute. 20 limit. Never mind. Seventy-five coming up, then ninety. That has to be one of the best TPTS stops ever. Um, you've done much, much better. But that was certainly on there with um, some of the good ones. 28 and a 20, folks. You know, just saying. 75 limits. <clears throat> 75 limit. Puts on seatbelt really tight. I, I just wouldn't get on the train, frankly. Just a TPTS in the Clear Creek route. That'd be interesting. <laughs> right, we're accelerating to 90. 95 limit coming up. Now, 78 miles an hour, speed limit 90, coming up to the 95, 16 miles to go. Shadow off. Is it possible to make a standard scenario into a career scenario? It is, and in my advanced scenarios um, video, I show how you do it. It requires editing text files. It's not a uh, an easy thing to do. Once you get the hang of it, you'll, it's no problem. You basically you'll open a particular file and change a word for a, for a different word, um, and then set up the career stuff. So, but I do cover how to do that in one of my videos. Hundred and fifteen limit coming up. Oh, nicely done on the speed. Harrison looking for one more purchase in the steam sale. Excellent. 
nicely done, trimming it back to 95. Then we're going 125. Up to 100, we're going to get 125. We might as well leave it in full power because the acceleration emergency you did that Gav well done well done evening Gauja you've just joined mid chaos I mean TPTF Ninety-eight. We're getting sped back up now. Uh. TPTS capable of driving notch locos. Uh, I can, it can do it, but I haven't actually set them up for those specific ones yet. Um, that's not a bad idea, actually. I'm not sure how much that would blow people's minds to do that. Well, we've got we're under 10 miles now. B. Harrison, what, what are you looking for? What sort of train do you think you want to get? Steven Jam, how much longer in this? Just to Penrith, eight miles, so about five, six more minutes. Hello, Stephen Jam. argument about what the speed should be but got there in the end 5.4 miles Speed limit is going to be down to 120 in a moment. Oh, nice hockey. How did you send them? House cursor. Apologies, couple of them out. Welcome to the stream. 
3.9 miles. You got the Felma through and the dog tanks. Think about where Somerset Railway. Yeah, a good choice. Have I ever done something on a DLC that you can physically see? Yeah, um, so on the Big Boy and the Challenger I redid all of the um, particle stuff for them um, and I did all of the way that they change colour when you're firing them um, and I did it so that when the AI trains move off that they blow steam off to start off with that was all stuff that I did um, I don't do any of the 3D art well, kind of, actually. In the Black 5 that came in the um, Western Lines of Scotland, um, I set up... I, I, I <laughs> the only, one and only time I've only done anything in 3DS Max. Right, you've got 1.4 miles now to Penrith, people. 1.4 miles. Let's get some um, slowing down, I think. Um, so on the Black 5 in Western Lines of Scotland, I took it in and I made it to where all the lights were separated out so that you could switch on individual um, lights. Penrith is your uh, next and final stop. Nice, thank you, Flying Scotsman. How come when I do TPTS the background never changes to a cab? Because um, quite often I don't actually set it up. It's just because if we did a loco that I have set up, then it would show up, but I haven't set this one up. So I, I go and test all the scenarios that I'm playing, and I usually forget to test this one because I'm too busy writing the scenario and finding a sequence that will actually work. Got four cars in. Almost there. Doors open. GG everybody. That actually wasn't bad at all. I did worry about giving you access to a 125 mile an hour train. I'm not. I wasn't sure how well that was going to go, but it seems to have been actually. Maybe you need to use faster trains more often because the slow ones seem to always mess you up. <laughs> BNSF, there's no point putting TPTS on a hard scenario. Right, there you go. Brilliant. That was very good. I think TPTS on um, um, the Marseille route would be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll think about doing TPTS on the Marseille route next time. Let me put a, uh, a, note, uh, a note in the log. Uh, for that one.
Right, I've made a note of that. Right. Brake controls are not really suited for TPTS. We well, see what I could do, cop plopper Mel, is um, make it to where you tell it what brake um, to actually set it to, rather than operating the brake lever. You say set the brake to 20, set the brake to 30, um, and that way you do it. I mean, I kind of have that in the vacuum control brake that no one can figure out how to use. Um, so I wonder if I make it to where you control the level and then it will automatically do the lever. That might be the best way of doing that. Right, okay, let me um, go back to that. So that was a good Twitch place. That was uh, that was cool. I like that. Um, so now we're at train spotting at Daplo. So this is Stephen Jam's uh, train spotting.